Hi, Dress Your Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw a flounder from The Little Mermaid. So let's get started. To draw this cute fish, let's first start by drawing his eyes. So let's come right here and we're going to draw a big oval. Nice and tall. Let's come around. Got one oval and then I'm going to come right next to it. Say about right here. Not too far apart. And we're going to draw another oval. Okay, so now that I have my two ovals in, let's come inside right here and we're going to draw another oval towards this edge a little bit more. Right about here. And then let's come right about here and draw a little circle for a highlight. And then I'm going to surround it right there with a curve and then just shade this all in. And let's do the same thing here. So another oval right here towards this edge more and then a circle right here for a highlight and then surround it and shade this part in so now that I'm done with the eyes right here let's come back up here and we're going to spruce it up so I'm going to come right here and just draw a curve that tapers right in the top of the eye and same thing right here so curve that tapers in there and so now that we have that let's go ahead and we're going to draw the snout area so right underneath this eye I'm gonna come about let's say about right here and I'm just going to touch this eye part right here and I'm gonna go around draw a curve right there and then I'm going to Let's see here. Before I finish that, let's come back to this eye as well. So right here, we're going to draw a curve. So this is like the cheek area. So we're just drawing these two curves. And then let's go around. Um, let's come right here. We're going to go nice and round. Come down. And then we're going to go right back up towards this area. So let's come up to about right here, right underneath the eye. And I'm going to imagine this curve and then just take a little break, curving for the cheek. And then we're going to come right here and draw the cheek area. Just to finish off with this little wobble of a curve. And let's bring this in there. And then let's come back right here where the eye is. We're going to draw another curve right there. Okay, so now we know where the mouth is going to go. We're going to come right here. And about right here. Let's go ahead and open up the mouth. So I'm going to draw a deep curve. And then let's draw the tongue right in here. And there. So it's all coming together, right? Just drawing the face part. And then let's draw a little chin right underneath. So we're just going to follow that curve we made and go up. So then now we can, um, now that we know where the cheeks are and the snout, let's come back to the eye area. So let's come, let's say about right here, the center of this eye, I'm going to come out just a very little bit. I'm going to give myself a point. And from here, I'm going to come down. And then as I hit this area right here, I'm going to go around. So we're going to start to go around and curve. So let's bring this part up, so really close to the eye, and we're going to go up. There. So we're starting to bring everything in. So we want to end about right here. I'm going to give myself a point, and from here I'm just going to go ahead and finish this curve. Nice and brown, and just bring it right back there. And then it's going to be overlapped by that chin, so it's going to pop out about right here. There. So now let's work on the top. We're going to go up high. So this is our center. So let's say about right here. I'm just going to give myself a point because I know this is going to go up a little bit more. So from this point right here, I'm going to come out to draw his mohawk, right? His top fin. And then we're going to go out right there. So whatever space you have left, just finish it off. And before I forget, I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to draw a curve right over the eye. And a smaller one. And the one right here as well. Just 
curve down and then another little curve just to give him some expression. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to basically draw his body. So it's going to be nice and wide right here and then it's going to taper in. So let's come about right here and we're going to go down. And then this side is going to go up. And I know I have this fin here, but I think it's just a lot easier just to draw the um, body shape in first. And I'll just come back in there and race. So definitely use a pencil if you can. And we're going to start to come down about right here, not too long, about right there. Go back and forth. And this is going to go up. So we're just creating this big head and then it's just going to taper into a tail. So back and forth. So then about right here, I'm going to go ahead and round it off for the tail area and connect. So now that I kind of know where my shape is, I'm just going to come in here and make it more definite right here. So if you're using a pencil, just Play around with this shape right here and um, to get this back to the tail right there. Then from there, we're going to come right here and just pop out this little tail, round it off, wobble down, and then we're going to right back up. From there, let's go ahead and finish his hair, his top fin. So right here, I'm just going to draw a bunch of zigzags to create this little mohawk look that he has. So. Let's go up. So we're still kind of tapering down. We want to taper down. That's the shape we want to go aim for. So about right here, come in, go out again. And then about right there, I'm going to bring this down all the way and just taper it in right there. Definitely adjust, just make this a little bit, a little bit too thin. So definitely adjust it as you need to. Okay, so now that I have this, I just want this nice and round. And then we're going to come right here and just draw in some stripes. And then for the fin area as well, you can come here and draw some stripes. And then he has some stripes running down here. So let's come about right here. And we're going to come all the way down into about right here where his eye is. And then we're going to go back up. And we're going to draw a little bit more. And it's going to get shorter as we come in. And two more. There, so it's all progressing upwards. Okay, so then now to draw his fin right here. So in this area, right in this area right here, we're going to draw this kind of like this little U at an angle. And then we're going to pop out his fin. So come right here, curve out, curve out. And as we come about right here, I'm going to draw three curves two and one more to finish it off and then for some details just come right here and here there and then we have the other fin to draw so it'll be about in this area right here let's come out draw a curve and once again we're just going to draw three curves two and three and then bring it in and then once again curve and another one there and so i'll come in here real quick and um, erase this part with my whiteout pen so you can see a little bit better so like i said definitely use a pencil it's just much easier to get his body shape in first before we draw these fins 
And that is pretty much it for my drawing here of Flounder. And uh, from The Little Mermaid, I really hope you love the series that I'm drawing so far. And let me know in the comments below if there's other characters you want me to draw from The Little Mermaid that I haven't already. Thanks so much for watching. And if I helped you draw this fun and easy, please give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you in the next one.